Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video. So in this video, we are testing FSD beta 10.12.2. I have the FSD engaged. You can see I'm on a, a pretty big highway here, and um, you don't get the FSD beta visualization. So we don't have that full stack like Elon has tweeted about yet, um, where the FSD is running side streets and running the highway. So you can see we just have this navigate on autopilot screen where I have to apply um, you know, steering wheel force whenever it changes the lane like it just did. So not the same FSD beta experience that you get on other side streets. So I'm going to put it in uh, super fast speed and we'll see what we run into with this FSD beta here. And you can see here that left lane is a toll and it's trying to get me to go over into that left lane. Um, I am canceling it with the turn signal and you can also cancel it by tapping there. So I definitely think that some of the knowledge that the car has, some of the lane changes that it does, um, definitely isn't 100%. It is improving, but it's not 100%. Now if I go into the settings, I can see that I have use HOV but avoid tolls. So that is an HOV lane, but it is also a toll lane um, if you don't have uh, HOV. So if I say avoid tolls and don't use HOV, you can still see um, actually, so it looks like turning off use HOV lane, so it does recognize that as a HOV, or the two white lines are here now, and so it's not going to try and get over. I manually turn the turn signal on to change lanes to the right, um, and it wants to go immediately back left and get behind that car. Get behind this big truck. I have no idea why it wants to really get over there. You can see multiple times I'm canceling the lane change. There's absolutely no reason for the Tesla to get over into the left lane right now. You can see I'm just, I keep canceling and it keeps wanting to go over into the left lane, but there's no traffic in front of me, so there's no reason for it to get over there. Okay, so now you can see I'm about 2.8, 2.7 miles from the uh, interstate exit that we're going to take and the Tesla is starting to get over. It just changed one lane, and that was automatically. Um, hopefully it makes a better decision and doesn't get behind this big truck here, but I found that like Tesla doesn't really, you know, quote unquote, think about that yet, and it just kind of changes lanes and, um, you know, won't go in front of a, you know, big tractor trailer like, you know, you or I would when we're driving. Now, just because of the speed we're going, we did end up passing that truck, and it says another upcoming lane change is coming. Um, so we're now two miles away from the exit. So another lane change here. Again, I do have to um, kind of prove that my hands are in the wheel by, you know, shaking the wheel a little bit before it will do the lane change, and that's because what we're seeing right here is navigate on autopilot. And that's different from the FSD beta. FSD beta will make the lane change and do everything um, and just periodically ask to see your hands on the wheel. Whereas FSD beta will ask to see your hands on the wheel um, before the lane change is initiated. Okay, so here is our exit. These two lanes will go off that way. Um, and we're gonna take this exit here. You can see this little gray feeler arm so it knows that it needs to go over there and you're, what you're gonna see is it just switched to the FSD beta 
visualization. So now we are back in the FSD beta where it will change lanes um, all by itself without you know a shimmy shake on the wheel. All right, so we do have a little construction going on over here in the right lane. Um, it's doing a good job, you know, kind of hugging these cones. This truck is slowing down in front of us and I think going to the construction. I'm gonna tap the accelerator here to speed up a little bit. Did slow down significantly uh, when that truck did go into the construction zone. We did have a big phantom braking right there for, I have no idea why. Another phantom braking there. I'm thinking maybe you couldn't see the traffic light. So I did have to correct the car there. Did end up wanting to change lanes to the right. You can see the right turn signal still on. Um, but we did need to go this way. Um, but the FSD beta was trying to go kind of down that road that way. This is a tricky and kind of unique intersection. Okay, we have a green light. We're gonna kind of make this funky left turn here and it's able to figure it out. So just a disengagement back there at that tricky intersection when it wanted to kind of second guess itself. It was going the right way, but then at the last second, wanted to go to the right. Okay, we have a right turn coming up here. It is going in the right turn lane. Turn signal is turned on by the FSD beta. Stop like does turn yellow, um, but it is continuing through the light. Two lane changes here to get to the left lane. And a left turn coming up here. With our destination right over here on this left corner, which is Tesla. So my car uh, the air conditioning stopped blowing cold air. So this is a 2018 Model 3. I'll do a separate video on my service experience and kind of what was going on with that and the cost to repair that. This is the first time we've taken it in for service, so not too shabby. So we do have to go straight. I'm gonna go ahead and disengage this in the car park. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Okay, so fast forward, I've already gotten my car back from the service center. And what I did learn from them is, so a ton of heat will actually come through the front here. And there is a temperature sensor behind the screen here. And so what was happening was it wasn't blowing cold air. So I would have it, let's say set to 71, 72. And because of the radiant heat coming through the front windshield here, um, it would actually, you know, say it was 72 in here because of the temperature sensor that he said was behind um, you know, the screen up here. And so his fix for it, and it didn't work, I'll, I will say I'll, kudos to the service team, was to either hold this temperature sensor or slide it all the way down until it said low. Um, and then as you can hear, the fan really kicked on there. So you can actually slide up and then it is an auto. So low and an auto. Um, it's going to, you know, make the fan go really high, but you can actually click here You can see it's almost at full blast. There's full blast and it switches from auto to manual um, So then we can go down to three or something more comfortable and then so Having it at low is just going to force the car to blow out super cold air Which I can feel right now is really cold. So if you guys are in a more hot cl climate, um, so I'm in Denver right now and so sun coming through this windshield is really heating up the entire cabin so don't take your car to the service center you can use this trick here and see if that works I thought my AC was failing definitely wasn't the AC so kudos 
to the Denver service team out there uh, who did a great job in resolving my issue really quickly. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, see you in the next one.